Hey friends, what's up, Red Neck Gamer here, and welcome to a map spotlight. Uh, I said this in yesterday's video, this will be the first video in many videos to come of map and mod spotlights. So, so yeah, that's gonna happen. So keep your eyes open, or just, yeah, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyways, let's just get on to the map itself. This is No Creek Farms by No Creek Farms uh, Modding, I believe is what he's going by. He has a Facebook page where you can get this, it is No Creek Farms on Facebook. Look it up, it, all the download links will be in the pinned post on there. So this is a very unique map. Um, as you see, it is Seasons Compatible. 100% compatible and just a few key features so it has seasons 100% compatible it's chop straw compatible um, multi-angle terrain I believe yeah it does have multi-angle terrain and uh, a lot more things to it but those are just like the basic things that everybody wants to know about so one of the unique things about this map is the main farm, the only farm, storage silos only store corn, soybean, and wheat. And this is completely realistic to this guy's farm in, I can never remember where this map is based off of. It's somewhere in the Midwest. Anyway. So that is one thing, also going off of what I just said, this map is pretty much one for one the map creator's uh, real life farm. Uh, it's his family farm, I believe they raise beef, but obviously there are no beef cows in here so we only have dairy, and dairy is the only thing on the map, there's no pigs, there's no sheep, and there's, I don't think there's chickens, I'm pretty sure there's no chickens. In fact, we can just look at this. Yep, no chickens. And uh, so yeah, dairy is the only thing you can do. Corn, soybean, and wheat are the only things you can store unless you put down placeable silos. You fill these up with the um, auger mods that are out there. Um, they're actually included in the mod pack when you download this map. Everything will be in one nice uh, pack. You download one file and the maps in there. You got some uh, text files you guys can read, and um, the augers are in there. There's a whole bunch of augers that come with this. There's the farm king that actually you tip into and then loads into the silo. There's also the backhoe up, uh, auger that you dump into and it loads into the silo. And there's quite a few uh, augers for you to retrieve your grain, which is right here, you just back the auger up and refill. I made the mistake of forgetting to enable those mods so I could show you, but the map creator actually has videos on his Facebook page showing how to do that if you guys do not know how to. And uh, if we just fly up here real quick, you can kind of see, let's get a crap. Well, actually, this is actually really good that it's raining. Also, I just noticed this. That's a Fahrenheit. So, it is raining, and you may be wondering why that's such a such a uh, impressive feature. Well, there's a uh, water planes on here. There's multiple uh, levels of them. It's not just one level like we're kind of used to. There are multiple uh, water planes. Obviously, you got the pond here and these terraces or the ditches, whatever you want to call them. Now, the water level all across the map will actually rise as uh, rain falls. So, if we just kind of speed up time, you see. Yeah, it rises and it quickly recedes. But nonetheless, it's really an amazing feature, and it's never done been done before in any farm sim that I know of. So, 
Continuing, like I said, you can just fly up and look at the PDA. We own fields 1 through 11, and they are scattered throughout the map. Those are our fields that the uh, map raider actually owns in real life. Again, the map is entirely based off of the guy's um, real life farm. Um, there is a custom ice plane for winter for the seasons mod. Uh, there is a custom seasons mod geo that goes along with this map. And uh, I'm trying to think of everything. There's so much in this map that it's almost impossible to cover. Um, there is one cell point. There is... Um, I don't even know. I, I don't even know where to begin, really. Nope, this. So here's our starting fleet. We'll just start with this. Pretty good size at starting fleet. Let's hop in the truck and take a drive around. And this map runs pretty smoothly smoothly at 60 frames a second for me. Obviously that may vary, but from what I hear this get this uh, map is pretty pretty easy to run on, even a lower lower end uh, computer. So we're coming off the main road off of the farm, and if we, that was a fail, if we take it right out of here, to show you guys on the PDA, we will come up to a little bit of a three-way intersection right here, and when you buy vehicles, they will all spawn right here to the left of me. Right where the camera is facing, right in this kind of meadow area. It will all spawn there. That is because there is no vehicle shop. Um, well, there's a vehicle shop in real life where this guy is. But it, he couldn't fit it on the map, so it is what it is. Make do with what you got. And I, I, I like that. If we come down here a little more, there is a little scenario around here if you will the uh, bridge is out here and it has been out the guy said for like decades and in real life there's not actually a crossing right here but the map creator put a crossing here since he ran out of space to put the actual town that they drive through to get around it so if we do go around it basically we just come up through here Getting stuck. Yeah. Get all those on. Nope. This road pretty much is just an access road to get to these backfields back here. There is a um, little bit, little farm roads that you can access every single field from the main farm if you just go out the back of the main farm. So you don't really have to travel down here if you're just playing with the stock farm, stock fields. But obviously if you buy some more fields you will have to do some more traveling. And going off the note of fields, each field is uh, priced to real life um, or realistic prices. And what I mean by that is if we look at field 18, field 18 is actually the flattest um, field on the map I believe. And it's in low ground. So that it, that field's gonna be a very high price field. While we look at like field 17 is kind of up on a hill. In real life, it's kind of a rocky area. So that field's gonna be a little cheaper because it's not that great of ground. So we're just passing the farm. So we're just to the left of the left of the farm now. We are making our way to T and R Soil Service. And up here is basically the second, the only other part of the map where you'll spend a lot of time. And I'm getting. Oh, wrong way. We'll just do this. And play speed. So if we just go up here. Right here. This is where you can sell milk, sell your grain, buy and sell animals. You can buy seeds, you can buy both types of fertilizer I believe, 
it was just a uh, liquid fertilizer, but I believe he added the um, pelletized or granular uh, fertilizer as well. We make our way back to the farm. We will. Where, where am I? We will see some of the farmers that I was talking about. But I will go over the layout of this dairy real quick. So obviously, all out here is pretty much all pasture, and the cows will actually roam all of that. Your manure heap will spawn right in this area. And your slurry is obviously right there. You load and unload your animals right here. Or you can just buy them from there, I believe. Yep. So let's just buy a few. And you can see them roaming around. Which is really cool. I like that it's a really big area for them. Look, you can see one right back there roaming around. And they're not like always there. They are only there when you buy cows. And you can see there's one right here. So you can see this farmer kind of runs along this field. If we go this way. Just jump it for now. We will come up to field at 9, which is kind of surrounded by trees. So that's the only way you can get to field 9, really. If we go this way on the farm roads, we come up to fields 5 and 6. Keep going, we cross a cross across field 8, and field 9 is right back there. You gotta cross this in real life, and come over here. There's field 10. Go through this little river crossing, go up here, and you're at field 11. So that's really cool. I really like how this map was laid out. I'm stuck. And it's actually a really fun map. I've played about 16 hours of it um, off camera. So I can you guys you guys can take my word that it's pretty fun. Let's see if we can get some more rain. And let's rain in for gas tomorrow. So let's just fast forward. I know the Seasons Mod doesn't uh, recommend that you that you uh, use time fast forward, but this is just for uh, testing purposes. Uh, this one. So we already saw this water level rise. I'm going to show you guys the creek water actually guys because I think that's really cool to see. I know it's really dark for you guys, it's actually really dark for me too. Uh, this way, we're just crossing field 8 again. Going to the little farm crossing over here. Okay, slow the speed down. Back to normal. So if we get the rain going. You can see it slowly starts to increase. And is that the max it goes? That's as far as it will rise. So if we go in and look at around our fields. No, it's really hard for you guys to see right now. Right here, this is really no water in here normally. And now there is water. Run up through the pastures and take a look at field, uh, the field right behind the farmhouse. Or the farm, I should just say. We will see that these are starting to creep up as well. Not as fast though. And this one really creeped up. I think there's a really good water water uh, area in here. No. Well, there's one field on the map where pretty much the whole field will actually basically flood, and I think it's just really cool. You know, like I said, I don't think it's ever been done in Farmson before to have the adjusting uh, water levels when it rains. 
It's just a, such a cool feature. Oh, it actually is still going. Yeah, once it stops raining, it uh, pretty much returns back to normal. So yeah, that is pretty much No Creek Farms. Again, you guys can check the links in the description. They will take you to the No Creek Farms Facebook page. And in the pinned post, on that Facebook page, you will find all, all of the files you need in one download. It'll be the most recent comment on there. Um, you, just, you guys just download it and unzip it and have fun. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Hopefully you guys enjoy the map. Personally, I think it's a really amazing map. It's it's probably my favorite map. And that's that's beating Upper Mississippi River Valley. And I, I absolutely love that map as well. But this one in detail just surpasses that intensely. I mean, I, I'm not bashing Upper Mississippi River Valley. That's an absolutely amazing map as well, but this one has so much detail. It is so realistic. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, dislike, comment, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, or if you are already subscribed, hit the bell icon. So you're notified of when I upload or stream. And until next time, I'm going to make a new seal in the next video. Bye bye.